Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> but, yeah. Hi, everyone. I am Team Roller 15, and today we are going to... Um, today we are going to talk about irregular verbs in English. So how is everyone doing today? Como les va? Wie geht es euch? How are you all doing? What's up? My ears are bleeding now. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my superpower though. I can make my voice so shrill that I make people's ears bleed. Okay. So, let's talk about irregular verbs. Um, so, does anyone... First, I should probably point out what irregular verbs are. Um, first of all, what's a what's, does anyone know the difference between irregular and regular verbs? Denix app, yay, you're here. Second and third form doesn't end with ed. For what ver what class of verbs? Regular or irregular? Which one? Hmm. Irregular verbs. Yes, let's go. But yeah. For regular for irregular verbs, yes. Um, uh, the the verb changes form in the second and third forms. So, well, I should probably talk about forms first. So, in English, there are like there are like four different forms of a verb. So you could have, oops, the present simple, present participle the past simple and the past participle so you can have these four forms and let's say we have the verb to walk let's let's do that so how would you, so what would the four forms for this be? So you have four forms here, the present simple, the present participle, the past simple, and the past participle. If you're wondering what the present participle is, you just add ing to the end of the verb. So, it would be, in this case, yeah, someone got it, yeah. It would be walk, walking, walked, and walked. Yes, exactly. Yeah, walk, walking, walked, and walked. No, was walking would be the, okay, yeah, there you go. Okay, um... Adding ing to the verb would be the present continuous. No, not necessarily. But no, I'm talking about just the ing form itself. That's what we call the present participle. So the present participle would be things like... Running, swimming, eating, etc. That's the present participle. Okay, and the past participle is just, well, that one we'll, we'll get to in a moment. Okay, so anyway. Um, let's do another one. Why don't we do another one? 
just so you guys just to make sure you guys get the concept so if you're wondering what the past participle form is it's the form that you use with the auxiliary verb have so like so the past participle would be like no as I said, the participle is the ing form. It's not the same as a continuous. The continuous, to form the continuous, you would need a helping verb like was or is or will be. You use the participle form in the continuous aspect, but it's not the same thing. Okay, um, let's see. So for the past participle, yeah, exactly. You use the verb three form. By simply attaching ed at the end of a verb, or d if the verb ends in an e already. So, so like, let's say you have the auxiliary verb have or has, like I have walked, he has walked, or I have, um, I have worked, he has worked, or I have lived, he has lived. That would be the past participle, just the ed form or whatever the just the the one the form that you can use after have or has oh and of course there are regular ones so regular forms as people said earlier for regular forms you add d or ed at the end of a verb but for the irregular forms you just have to you like you just they have unpredictable forms and they have to be memorized and someone actually provided an example earlier so like for the verb to know what would the four forms be for this one Yeah, know, knowing, new, and known. Yeah, exactly, Snorlax. Thank you for pointing that out. That's that's exactly the difference between the pe present participle and the present continuous. I mentioned this earlier, but yeah, that's that's that is exactly the difference. Yeah, exactly. Know, knowing new and known yes very good and this is irregular because we can't just add ed at the end of the verb we can't just say i have knowed the truth no you can't you can't say that so can someone do to run for me we're about to run someone already did it earlier but i want to see if everyone else can do it Okay, so most of you have most of the forms, but you miss your your you got one wrong. But someone here actually did get it. Yeah, a few people here did get it right. So yeah, it should be run, running, ran, and then run. Yes, run, running, ran, and run. So you can't say I runned. You cannot say I runned. That's something that children who don't know how to conjugate say. Don't be like them. I run a mile. No, you ran a mile. You ran a mile. Okay. I ran a mile. Oh, God, I don't, I hope no one ever says that. Yes, run is verb three. I should probably just take out the continuous form not the continuous form, past participle, I mean present participle form, to make this easier. What people mean by V1, V2, and V3, they it's it's the same thing as present uh, simple, so run, and then V2 would be the past simple, which would be ran, and then V3 would be the past participle, which would be run. 
So that's the difference. So when you hear V3 or see V3 in the chat, it just means past participle and V1 would be the present simple and V2 would be the past simple. So that's what they mean. Yeah, that's V3 or verb three, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I'm putting the running, I'm putting the verb running there because I'm trying to show you guys how to conjugate for change the forms of all, like change the forms of the verb. I put the ing verb there just to, just to show, like just to show all four for forms. Okay, so let us continue. What are your qualifications, she man? Well, I'm not a real teacher in life, and I'm not re I'm not a real English teacher, but I have learned. I, I am very much a grammar enthusiast, and I'm a native speaker of English. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, so now let me go like there I have a long list of irregular verbs here. So Oh, and remember the present participle form of a verb can be used with the past perfect and future perfect too, really. So you can say I have run, I had run, I will have run. And for the continuous forms, I am running, I was running, I will be running. So that's, that's really it. Those, those are the present perfect, past perfect, and future perfect. Let me just put it there so that everyone understands. What's the difference between I will be running and I will run? That's out of the scope of this lesson. Don't worry about the differences between the verb forms. Just worry about how to conjugate for now. I didn't know the future perfect existed. Yeah, it exists. Um, uh, it does exist, like, but we people don't really use it very much because most of the time you don't need to use it. But anyway, what's the difference between a gerund, a gerund, and a present participle? That's so a gerund is just a present participle that functions as a noun, whereas the present participle, like, it's an ing verb that a gerund is an ing verb that functions as a noun. For example, swimming is my favorite activity. Swimming in that case would be a gerund. But present part a present participle is is part of a verb phrase. So I am swimming. In that sentence, swimming would be the present participle because it's part of a verb. It's 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 okay. Conjugate. So when you conjugate, you change a verb depending on the person, mood, tense, aspect, whatever. You you're basically changing the verb's form. How many tenses are there in English? So, how many tenses? Uh, if you're talking about the different combinations, such as future perfect, 
present continuous or whatever, we have 12. But uh, if you're talking about just the simple forms, then we t we have three present, simple, and future. I'm um, sorry, present, past, and future. Present, past, and future. Although the future tense is uh, more of a grammatical tense rather than a morphological one. So we don't really change the form for the future. We just put will in front of the verb, the base form, or the continuous form. So I will run, I will be running, yeah. So for the perfect, we put the first form. What do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean there. That's one way of looking at it. Yes, that's a good point, Python. I would talk more about tenses, but that's out of the scope of this lesson. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, if you count the conditional mood, then yeah, we have 16 tense aspect combinations. But I'm 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 not gonna worry about that right now. Hold on, I'm trying to keep track of all these replies. Okay, so that's quite a few. If honestly, what I would do to conquer that system is to just take it one, one tenth at a time, and. Like, really, I, it's not that hard. Especially if you know a language like Spanish or French or Portuguese, you can do the English tense system. It's it's not that hard. Similar in many ways. Anyway, uh, so going back on topic. Why do I say out of scope and not out of the scope? Because s scope is... Because, like... The here would imply that I'm talking about a specific, a, a specific scope, but I'm not. I'm talking, I just mean that it's it's not within the range of topics for this lesson. But anyway, um, I'm not sure what you mean. Do we have to mug up the tenses? What do you mean? Okay, anyway. Hmm, let's see, where was I? Oh yeah, yeah, ducky, that's exactly it. The continuous, it, well, it's more of an aspect, but yeah, it's part of the tense and the participle is just the form. Okay, so, irregular verbs. So, regular verbs would be stuff like walk, um, dance, uh, what else, work, whereas irregular verbs would be stuff like run, swim, eat, so. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and do another one to swim. Can someone tell me, you can just tell me the three forms. You don't have to put the ing form, but what are the three forms for the verb to swim? Can you conjugate that? Yeah, exactly. Swim, swim, swum. Swim, swim, swum. Okay. What about the verb to drink? Yep, drink, drink, drunk. Drink, drink, drunk. You'll see that there's actually a pattern with some of these verbs that, see that for some of these verbs, you just change the vowel in the middle and then you get a different form. So swim, swam, swum, drink, drank, drunk. Yeah, that's another one. Sing, sang, sung. Very good. Yep. 
Okay, and yeah, there are some verbs that just stay the same no matter what. So, read, well, read is sort of like that, except that you have to change the pronunciation in the two other two forms. So it'd be read, read, and read. They're all spelled the same, but the last two are pronounced differently. Yeah, put, 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 cut, 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 set, 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 forecast, 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 broadcast, 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 or just cast, cast, cast. Exactly. Okay. So. I'm going to try to cover as many of these as possible. Let me see if I can. Because I have two tables here. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, poggers. Okay, let's see. Uh... Oh, I forgot to mention, in, in certain dialects of English, instead of adding an ed or d at the end of a past tense, at the end of a verb to make it past tense, some people just put a t instead. So instead of say, learned, some people would say, learnt. So sometimes people use the T ending instead. I don't, except for specific verbs that I'll talk about in a moment. Usually I just use ED, but in British English, at least from what I've seen, it's more common to use the T ending. Is there any difference? No. Learnt and learned are the same. The only difference is the form. Hey, Jasper, what's up? Yeah, dreams would be dreamt. Okay. Now let's cover all, as many verbs as possible. Okay. Oh, you have to leave? Okay. Bye, crazy Samu. Yeah, I'm just sticking to AME because that's what I know, so. To arise. This one's a bit tricky. But if you know how to conjugate rise, then you can do a rise. There you go. A rise, a rose, a risen. So if you know that, then you can do this, right? So what would be to rise? Rise, rose, risen. There you go. And if you're wondering why our verbs in English are like this, it's just something that Germanic languages do. We tend to have what are called strong verbs, where we change, where like the verb, the verb form changes in like, it doesn't change by regular inflection. It, it you have to like change certain letters in the verb. So yeah, no English is not derived from Latin. No, not even close. It has a lot of Latin vocabulary that it acquired through French, but it is not Latin. I mean, it's not like, it's not a descendant of Latin. It's not a Romance language. It's a Germanic language. Like German and Dutch and Icelandic and Swedish and Norwegian, so on and so forth. And in Germanic languages, we have strong verbs, verbs that just change form entirely. English just looks, English is just like, it looks, it doesn't look Germanic, but it is Germanic in, in grammar. And even when it comes to pronunciation, you know, like stress rhythm and whatnot, like all very Germanic. It's just a vocabulary that's not too Germanic, but even our basic vocabulary is Germanic. Like the, like the noun house. In German, it's the same house, just with a different spelling. And there are other examples like this, but anyway. Let's see. Okay, so let's do another one. Yeah, I'm, I'm recording this lesson, and I'll post it later. Although I have not been posting my other lessons because of, multi because, because of multiple reasons, really. Okay. To awake.
Yes. Wait, hold on. That's just really weird. Let me look at this. Okay, yeah, it's awake, awoke, and awoken. Yes. So if you can do that one, you can do this one. To wake. Yeah, or to wake up. I'm just, like, I'm not going to get into that because they're... Yeah, there are verb there are two forms of that verb, to wake and to wake up. But anyway. Uh let's see. We already did. Hold on, let me check something really fast. Just to make sure. Okay. So, this one is similar. No, I'm sorry, no, this one's a bit tricky because there are two different correct forms to abide. To obey? Uh, yes. Yes, technically. In a sense. Like, they're similar. Yes, that's correct. Abide, abode, abode. Yes. Or abide, abided, abided. That works too. Yeah. So, Jessica and Serenity. Yes, you got it correct. So, to abide by something means to accept without objection. So, like, I will abide by the laws. It means that I will follow the laws without question. Okay, so, let's see, what else is next? Okay, if you don't know this one, then I, then I, will, then I am ashamed. I, then I'll be ashamed to be. Exactly. Be and then was, were, and then been. Yes. If you did not know that one, then. <laughs> then. <laughs> if you didn't know that one, then I would have been quite ashamed of you. Okay. Let me check. No, move, you stupid cat. Sorry, I'm on Merriam-Webster. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay. So what about this one? Oh, wait, hold on. Let me do something really fast. Hold up. One second, that. let me skip that one. That one's pretty tricky. Okay. How about Shrek? I was actually watching... I've been watching those movies recently. I can see why everyone hates the third one. But anyway, I like it, but I can see why everyone hates it. Okay, so let's do this one. To beat. Yes, beat, beat, beaten. Yes, that's how you would do it. Although, some people actually put, just have beat for all of them. Like, some people will say, this challenge was beat. 
fix this sentence for me. This challenge was beat. Can you fix this for me? What, what should this be? Yeah, it should be beat 10. But some people will say beat. I've heard it. Some people will say beat. It's not standard, though. The standard form is beat 10. Okay. This sentence was beaten to death. Yeah, natives mess up natives mess up grammatical rules all the time. They they mess up grammatical rules all the time. They they often say they often say things in non standard English. Not always. It depends. But yeah. We're not perfect when it comes to grammar. Not even me. I try to I try to speak standard English whenever possible, but even I mess it up occasionally. Okay, now this one should be pretty easy. Yeah, no one's infallible, exactly. What's this one? To become. Become, became, become. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So what about this one? To come. Yeah, see, if you can do become, you can do come. Oh, and here's another, here's another form, uh, here's another verb uh, in for which you have to change the vowel. I'll get to drive later, but what about to begin? Yeah, begin, began, begun. Begin, began, begun. Begin, began, begun. Hi. Okay. How many people use past simple instead of past perfect? What do you mean? Do you mean the tense or do you mean the verb two and verb three forms? But while he's at while he's talking about that, let's us do to bend. Yeah, exactly. Bend, bent, bent. Bend, bent, bent. Okay, let's see. What other ones? I'm gonna skip some of these. Okay, um, Oh. Tibet. Exactly, it's the same. Bet, bet, bet. <laughs> bet, bet, bet. Okay, uh... Okay, so what about this one then? I'm sure you can guess, but to set, 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 set. <laughs> set, set, set. <laughs> okay, here's a tricky one. To bind. Someone almost had it, but they forgot to put in the last form. Yeah, exactly, Jessica. Yes. Yes, yes. And not interesting. No interesting game. No interesting name. Yes, you guys got it. Bind, bound, bound. Oh, well, actually, no. The last one would be, sorry, not no interesting name. The last one would be bound. I misread your comment. But yeah, it'd be bind, bound, bound. Bind, bound, bound. Although, be careful with this because 
bounds itself can also be um it can also be a verb to bound like when you bound you bounce yeah so be bound bounded bounded so be careful yeah be careful because some of these forms can be can even be their own verbs you know like lie and lay but we'll get to lie and lay in a moment because that one's tricky but yeah just be careful so yeah for that one it would be to bound would be bound bounded and bounded So when you bound, you bounce. Or rebound. Okay, so if you can do to bound, then what's to rebound? Yeah, rebound, rebounded, rebounded. Okay, let's see. I'm going to skip that one. Let's do... Okay, let's do this one. Some of these I'm just going to skip because... Yeah, the second one is rebounded. Like, for a, a, you want an example? Okay, so the team the team was struggling at first in the in the match, but then they rebounded and won the game. So rebounded would be verb two and verb three. Yeah, from basketball commentaries, exactly. You're going to hear the word rebound quite a bit. Because that, that is a technical term in basketball. And I forgot, I forgot what it means, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, I remember what it means. It means that you... It, it means to get the ball after a team misses... After the opposing team misses a shot or whatever. Or, no, 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 that's not it. It's no, it's after your team is just a shot, I think. I, I can't remember. Whatever. <laughs> I'd have to look it up. But it's it's one of those two. I know it's one of those two. But it's a basketball it's basketball jargon. Oh yeah, so yeah, it's 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 when your team it's when it's when you grab the ball after your team misses the shot, apparently. Okay. Oh, so there are both defensive and offensive rebounds. Okay, so it's both. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I like I'm sorry, it's been a while since I last played basketball. I thought I was like I thought I think there are two types, but yeah, there are two types, so okay. Psst. Sorry, I have I've not played basketball in a while. It's okay. It's okay, you learned something new, right? It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's don't you don't have to apologize for bringing basketball into this. Yeah, to rebound can also mean to recover or to come back from something. Yeah, like from a breakup, you know, when your heart gets broken, you rebound eventually. You know, most people rebound eventually. Some don't, but most do. And of course, there's all you could also be a rebound for someone. Like just 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 basically a sh <laughs> just basically there for emotional support and not like 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 when you break up with someone and then <laughs> and then you go to someone else who's who may or may not also be heartbroken and you guys just start you know uh falling for each other well that would technically be that you call that person 
both parties in that case a rebound because they're not with each other out of like out of romantic interest it's just because they're heartbroken so it's yeah <laughs> yeah don't don't rebound don't 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 treat people like rebounds that don't it's it's not it's not it's not very honest but anyway <laughs> sorry to <laughs> to have gone off topic <laughs> Okay, um, you've been a rebound. Can I get an F in the chat then? <laughs> F? <laughs> okay, uh, how often are classes? I have classes Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Ooh, okay, here's a good one. Wait, hold on. Let me find the, the next verb. Okay. To bite. Can you do to bite? Yeah, exactly. It would be bite, bit, bitten. The second one would be bitten. I mean, bite. No, bit. Ah, I'm confusing myself. No, the first one is bite. The second one is bit. No E. And the third one is bitten. Bite, bit, bitten. Of course, just like with the verb to beat, some people will use the th the second form uh, bit as the third form as well. Like somebody, somebody, some people might say you got bit by an insect. No, it would be you got bitten by an insect. And yeah, people do that all the time in English. They will mix up the second and third forms. It's not uncommon to hear people saying things like I've drank so much. And I'm like, yeah, I can tell your grammar sucks, but just don't do that, please. It, it sounds awful. Just don't. Just don't. I, it's I've drunk so much. I've drunk so much. You can say I drank so much or I have drunk so much, but not I have drank so much. Don't. Now, I am drunk. Now, in that case, drunk is functioning as an adjective, which is fine because that's what past participles do, or participles in general. They function as adjectives. So you could say, this is boring, or I am bored. And boring and bored are both participle forms of the verb to bore. Boring is the present participle, bored is the past participle. They can both be used as adjectives. Thank goodness I've never been drunk. Same. I'm not sure how to. I'm not sure how to interpret that sentence, Darth Vader. I'm sorry. Have you ever drunk so much? Yeah, it should be drunk. That's correct. Yeah. Have you ever drunk so much? Past participles can be adjectives? Yeah, and present participles too. Can drink be used as past participle? No. No, as I said, you can't do that. Some people do that. It's not standard English. It's I have drunk so much. Non-alcoholic gang, let's go. Let us go. Let us be going. No, it's drink, drink, drunk. Okay, let's see. Ooh, let's do this one. Why is English so confusing? Because that's just how languages are. They don't. They often don't make any sense. To bleed. To bleed. What? 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 What would those forms be? Yes, bleed, bled, bled. English is confusing, but it can be understood through tough, thorough thought, though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I wish I were a native speaker. Oh, don't say that. Speak proud of your non-native status. 
You have to go. Okay, bye. Nos vemos. Auf Wiedersehen. Okay, so let's see what else. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm looking at both of these forms. Uh, let's see. Oh, I know. Let's do this one. To blow. Can you do that one? Yeah, blow, blue, blown. Blow, blue, blown. See, irregular verbs aren't that hard. You just have to learn them. Now about to break. Someone already mentioned it earlier, but let's do it here. Break, broke, broken. Break, broke, broken. Break, broke, broken, yes. Okay. Ooh. Here's another one. So, this one is similar to the verb to bind. There's another break too. Yeah, the the what what you use what what the the part of your car that allows you to stop. But that's a different spelling. But sometimes people will mix those two up and I'm just like, "Fam, learn to spell." Unless you have a disorder like dyslexia, then it's understandable, but if you don't, then there's no excuse. <laughs> so if you know how to do to bind, then you can also do to find. Find, found, found. Yes. And if you can do to find, then you can do to found, as in to establish something like, like a, like whatever, like a building or whatever, or an organization or something. So what would be to found? to found because found is a verb by itself too yeah found founded what would be the third one yeah found founded founded to found as in to establish and like something like say uh, an organization Yeah, to, it's, so the technical definition is to establish something often with provision for future maintenance. Like you can found an institution. I founded this institution. I established it. So you can see that bind and find, bound and found, like they're all separate verbs. Okay. Yeah, some of you, I'll get to those verbs later. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. I'm just going in alphabetical order. Okay, let's see. Ooh, let's do this one. To bring. That one's a bit tricky. Yeah, exactly. Bring, brought, brought. No, you might you might think it would be it like you you would think it'd be bring bring brung. No, it's bring brought brought. <laughs> yeah, that one was tricky. But you might hear bring and brung because some people just don't know the standard forms. But yeah, it's bring brought and brought. When should I use verb three? That is out of the scope of this lesson because there are multiple reasons. What there are multiple situations where you'd use it. Like, for example, as an adjective, I mean, as an adjective, or as, uh, like, like part of the present perfect, or past perfect, or future perfect. But, anyway. Have you ever heard someone say brain? Yes. Yes, I have. I know, it's cringe. It's cringe. Not as cringe as Nikocado Avocado, but still pretty cringe. 
Anyway, I know it's stupid. Kind of like how some people in Spanish say <laughs> fuistes instead of fuiste, or dijiste instead of dijiste. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> I'm just like, fam, stop. You're, you're assaulting my ears. <laughs> I'm just like, bro, you can't Spanish. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> or God forbid, benistes instead of beniste. <laughs> I've seen that. <laughs> and I'm just like, stop. Just stop. Now, there's a reason for that. It's because, like, the, it's just over-regularization. So sometimes when people don't know the proper conjugation of a verb or whatever, they will over-regularize by just, like... Like, for example, um, like, some people will say, <laughs> like, it would technically be more regular, sort of, if we're following, like, the convention of other verbs, like, to sing. It would make more sense to have bring, bring, and brung, but, but technically the forms are bring, brought, and brought, but some people are, some people are just like, oh, well, since sing has these forms, then bring must have these forms, too. No. Just no. <laughs> That's just not how it works, no. And there's also another thing in English where people, like, regarding the whole, the whole dijistes and fuistes thing, because, you know, that's the only verb in Spanish that doesn't have an, an S ending for the second person singular. There's a similar thing in English as well when, um, like, you know how all the possessive pronouns have an S at the end, except for one, right? The only one that doesn't have an S is mine. But some, some people will say mines. It's mines. It's mines. This is mines. And I'm like, no, it's not mines. It's mine. But people add the S because that's the only form that doesn't have an S at the end. So they over-regularize and put an S there. It's mine. Not mines. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> Spanish has a lot of verb mistakes, right? Like, I, like I even, like, there are even a few people that say "teni" instead of "tuve," and I'm like, okay, yeah, great, yeah, sure, okay, makes sense. So, no mines, as in like a minefield, the mines, no, but. So people will say, this is mine's, instead of, this is mine. <laughs> and I'm just like, stop. You can't English. But anyway. <laughs> despacito. Quiero despidar tu cuello despacito. Sabes que tu corazón conmigo te hace bom bom. No, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I love that. I don't know. Daddy Yankees verse is so fire. I love it. Honestly, the song is better without Justin Bieber. Sorry. Not sorry. Just, no. Justin Bieber can... No, he ruins the song. Anyway. Let's see. Uh, did I, I already covered that one. Ooh, let's do this one. <laughs> to build. To build. Can you do that one? Exactly. DTT. Yeah, exactly. Build, built, built. Built, built, built. Not builded. Built. You could be a singer easily. Thank you! <laughs> Was that singing? No, it wasn't. It was just a derp noise. Your Spanish is great. Thank you, Irving. Someone else also posted a comment here. Hold on. Sir, I'm a little concerned. Merriam-Webster defined drink as the past tense and past participle form. But it is also defined that drunk as the past participle form, too. Okay, so I guess apparently now, now drink is... Okay, so I have to correct myself here. Apparently, drank is now considered a past participle of drunk. Which is stupid, but, you know, it's Merriam-Webster. You can't really argue with it. I didn't know it was standard. 
I knew it was a thing. I just didn't know it was standard. But yeah, apparently you can say drink. Uh, you can say I've drank so much, which is stupid. But you know, it, it's language. Language is often stupid. Okay. I would just go with drunk. Because then the reason for that is that you wouldn't say I'm drank. By logic, you could, since drank is a past participle, but I wouldn't. That's why I just use drunk for both. I'm drunk. I have drunk too much. It just makes more sense to me to use drunk. But whatever. Anyway, let's see. What's next? I think so, too. See? 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 Serenity gets it. I am drunk. I am drunk. Yes, yes, you are. We already covered... We already covered that verb, so let me keep going. Ooh, okay. Let's do this one. Okay. To burst. To burst. What's this one? I wonder... I wonder what the forms could be. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a tricky one. It's it's burst. You just say burst. Burst, burst, burst. Yeah, the sun bursts of rain. Sad face. Nice silhouette, though. Yeah, it's burst, burst, burst. Burst, burst, burst. Okay, so what about... Can you give me an example with burst? The balloon burst after too much helium was put into it. The balloon burst after too much helium was put into it. It burst into flames. I was bursting with laughter. I burst with laughter. No, bursted is not... It's not the right form. It's burst. The balloon burst into flames because I filled it with hydrogen. <laughs> I burst. I really hope you didn't. I don't want to have to clean that up. Sorry, fam. That's just not my job description. Burst like combust combustion. Yeah. Or just just basically, not or or just really explosions in general. Like, a tire can burst if it's, like, if you put too much air in it, it can burst. So, the bombs burst. Oh, you have to go? Okay, bye. See you later. See you. Two of the water pipes burst. Yeah, see? There you go. You got it. You got it. I was going to do another one. Oh. Okay, so if you can do burst, actually, this one's also tricky because there are two correct forms for it. Yeah, veins can burst too. Although, it'd be hard to. It'd be, it'd be pretty difficult. I guess theoretically they could, but it'd be pretty difficult because, like, veins, they, they, arteries have more pressure than veins, like, because, like, the, my blood flows more forcefully through arteries than through veins, so... But anyway, yeah, it would be bust. So bust, you could say bust, 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 or bust, busted, busted. It, it, either one's fine. So you could say bust, 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 or bust, busted, busted. Straight busta, like Busta Rhymes the Rapper. How long is this class going to be? As long as you want. Really? No. It's it's typically classes don't exceed three hours. So yeah, it can be bust, 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 or busted. I mean bust, busted, busted. Either's fine. Bust a move. Hmm. 
Okay. Ooh, let's do this one. Yeah, they're the same. What does bust mean? To bust. To bust. Well, it can mean a number of things. There's a certain there's a certain meaning to it that's rather inappropriate. But anyway, let's not talk about that. So let's just talk about the verb form. Okay. Um. To bust means to break or smash, especially with force. So you can bust the window. It can also be used to make something inoperative or, or no longer functional. Like you can bust your watch or your television or whatever. NSFW. <laughs> yeah, it could also mean to catch someone in the act of doing something criminal or illegal. So... Ha! Busted! So when the thief gets busted by a cop, yeah, that that's another definition. Like that song, Busted, in Phineas and Ferb. That song is a bop! This song is a bop! This song is a bop! It slaps. But anyway... Honestly, it, I think like it like to me it's 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 one of the best songs in the series along with Gitchy Gitchy Goo. I love both of those. Those are my two favorite ones. But anyway, busted getting caught in 4K, right? Caught in 4K. Caught in 4K 3D. Let's go. No, you can burst into tears, but you can't really bust into tears. So be careful. I want this guy as a teacher in my school. Pock! Pock! Okay, what else? Let me see what's next. Ooh, let's do this one. Dubai. La Luna. That's how you say moon in Spanish. No, I said pog. But yeah, to buy would be buy, bot, bot. It would be bot for the past and past tense and past participle. Not bide. No, bot. I bought a lot of stuff from eBay. Don't get scammed now. <laughs> I buy food. Ew, ew, get that mess out of my, get that mess out. Ew, 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 ew. This triggers me, this triggers me. Okay. So what about this one? To catch. Catch, caught, caught. Mm-hmm. So you can't say catched. No, it's ca it's caught. It's caught. I catch the fish, mommy. No, you caught a fish. Learn to grammar. God. You caught a fish. I caught a cow. I caught a cold. Ew, get away from me. <laughs> it's like, I caught COVID! Yeah, j just don't come to my house then, please. Let's go. I caught on fire! <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I I'm sorry. I mean, I should be helping. My bad. I caught mommy kissing Santa Claus! Really? Yeah, in 4K too, look. Oh, I, I don't, 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 I'm good fam. You don't have to show me. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't help but make jokes in these classes. Because, you know, jokes are, jokes, jokes are good for people. 
Well, not all of them. I mean, there's Mulan 2020. It was a joke, but it wasn't a good one. Anyway, um, I got caught in 4K for illegal drugs and activities. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean, Gabriel. 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 Lobo. Mr. Wolf. What What do you mean? It's present, past, and future. No, no. Just present. Present simple, past tense, and past participle. So present simple, past simple, and past participle. Caught my secret chimp secret stash. <laughs> Ooh, let's do this one. This one's a pretty tricky one. To choose. To choose. There you go. See, irregular verbs aren't hard. Choose, chose, and chosen. Yes. This is a long ass list. I'm not going to bother going through every single one of these. Let me cover, let me just skip around and come to, hmm, let me just skip around a bit. There's one I really need to cover is lay and for lay versus lie because that, that one is a tricky, 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 tricky one. Pikachu, I choose you. I was just thinking of Pokemon, which I haven't cared about since Diamond and Pearl. I'm sorry, I just lost interest in that era. <sighs> but yeah, I was thinking of Pokemon. <laughs> I'll be right back. What's up? No, I'm going to. Um, later today. Okay. Teach us away. No, he's here to stay. <laughs> Harry Potter's a chosen one. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not wrong. That's not wrong. He is the chosen one. Okay. Let me see. This list is actually kind of a mess. Like, there are a few forms here that... that there are a few forms here that are not conjugated correctly. But I'll 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 link it anyway. Okay, so let me just go ahead and skip to Well, let me just skip to this one. To take. To take. Take took took Taken, sorry. I was about to say took in. Take, took, taken. Yes, that's it. That is exactly it. That is it. Yes. Very good. Very, very good. Anything else? Mm, just skipping around here. Let me go. Let me try to... I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find, um, yeah, there are several verbs here that are the same in every single form. Let's see. Ooh, so many. Okay. So let me just make a list of them really fast. Let me make a list of all the verbs that are the same throughout. Let's see. Uh, let's see. List of verbs that have that have identical forms so like all three forms are the same so let's see 
there's this one. Um, trying to remember other ones. There's this one. Mm. Dumb. Dumb. Hold on. Okay. I did that one, did that one. Okay, there's this one. The teacher took my girlfriend. Sorry. They called me Mr. Steal Your Girl for a reason. Sorry. The teacher unintentionally took your girlfriend, right? I, like, I wasn't even trying. She was just like, fuck you, and then came to me. Oops, sorry, I did not mean to curse. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> don't stone me. Please don't stone me. I'd rather be stoned than stoned. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Get it? Because no, I'll shut up now. Anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, there's this one too. <laughs> My mother heard that. She's mad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. The teacher stole my happiness and your heart. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see that one. Dang, there are so many verbs that have the same form. Ugh. You're wondering how we native speakers can keep track of all these. We just you, just... you just learn them from hearing them over and over again. Okay. I'm just going through this list and just trying to find all of them. Thank you! Thank you for saying that you like my voice. So regular verbs get regular sometimes. Very true. There are a few on this list I'm making that will that also have alternate forms. But I'm gonna I'll cover that in a moment. Let's see. Okay, are there any others? Uh, let's see. Okay, there. I think that's all them. Oh, bye. See you later, Absalom 101. Okay, so here's a list, and I probably didn't cover all of them. Here's a list of verbs that have identical forms. So, bet, burst, broadcast, cast, cost, cut, fit, hit, hurt, let, put, quit, set, shut, slit, spit, s split, spread, wed, wet, 
Not sure if there are any others. I think that's all of them. There are probably more, but I, I'm trying. I, I can't think of any others. I think that's all of them. Oh, there's another one actually. Thrust. Thrust is another one. Thrust. Thrust, thrust, thrust. I spit in teacher's face. Too far, dude. Sorry, man. It's okay. 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 Let me go back and edit this. It should be me add thrust. Pelvic thrust. The pelvic thrust. Stop on your right foot. Don't forget it. Okay. Let's see. Thumbs up if you got that reference from Spongebob. Anyway, I think that's all the forms. What else? What else? Uh, there's one more for- Alright, let me talk about- Shoot, actually no. There was one more verb I wanted to cover. Let me see if I can find it. Me laughing my arse off for real and mom be like, weren't you attending English classes? Yes, this is an English class. But, how, well, you shouldn't be laughing. Why not? English can be fun. Learning English can be fun. I mean. I allow people to speak towards the end of the lesson. Not right now. Okay, um. Let me see. I think that's it. Okay, so... No, cost. The, the banana you bought cost 50 cents. El plátano que compraste costaba uh, 50 uh, centavos. I think that's how you'd say in Spanish. What the fuck ever. Anyway. Oh, shoot. I need to stop cursing. Sorry. <laughs> English is confusing, but it can be understood through tough, thorough thought, though. G-Man Dalmo. Ah, I love you, Thor. I love you, Thor. Explain this. I'd love to explain that, but English orthography, you know, the system of of writing and pronunciation or whatever, I, I can't explain that. It, it's not consistent. <laughs> Your Spanish is better than you think it is. Thank you. English is confusing, but it can be understood through tough, thorough thought, though. Try saying that five times fast. <laughs> through tough, thorough thought, though. Through tough, thorough thought, though. Through tough, thorough th Shoot! Crap! <laughs> through tough, thorough thought, though. 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 Okay, damn. Oh, my God. Okay. If two witches were watching two watches, which 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 watch which watch? I don't know. Which witch would watch which watch if two witches were watching two watches? I would I, I know not. I know not what what the answer is.
If a woodchuck could chuck wood, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck? Okay, let me see. There was one, I'm trying to remember what verb I was going to cover. Which one was it? Crap. Oh well, I'll just go right to lie and lay. I have got to gate. I have got to date at a quarter to eight. I'll see you at the gate, so don't be late. The thirty-three thieves thought that they thrilled the throne throughout Thursday. Ha! <laughs> How long will this class take place? Um, I don't go past three hours and it's been almost 90 minutes, so. A skunk sat on the stump and thunk the stump skunk, but the stump thunk the skunk stunk. Oh, I can't say that really fast. <laughs> Are you Eminem's brother or what? Good question. Good question. Maybe he's a relative of Twista or Busta Rhymes. Just dance. It'll be okay. Da da doo doo, just dance, spin that record, babe. Da da doo doo, just dance, it'll be okay. Da da da, dance, 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 ja ja ja, just dance. Okay, so let's do. Okay, so let's do to lie and to lay. So, what is the difference? between these two verbs because they're not the same in a way <laughs> I'm back Jazzy you missed quite a bit not really oh you need to go ducky aww Nine needs down after it. Not necessarily. Often, but not always. Okay, so you guys are kind of right. So, to lie can mean to recline, as in to put yourself, like put yourself on a bed, like on your back or whatever. Or it can mean to tell a falsehood, like something that's not the truth. So, for example, that dress does not make you look fat. When the person in question is fat and the dress just makes them look fatter, that would be a lie. Telling them that the dress doesn't look fat. It doesn't make them look fat. But anyway, to lay means to put something on something else. Like, I laid my keyboard on my, my desk. That, that's the definition of lay. Oh, Jazzy, your NSFW vibes are showing. It's better to pee in the sink than sink in the pee. That's not wrong, but it is so damn random. I lay my ball on my desk. What are consonants? I don't know. What 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 are these consonants you speak of? <laughs> I guess I lied about getting laid. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, you have to leave. Bye, Cody. Okay, so what would be the forms of... Okay, so to lie has two sets of forms, and this is tricky. So to lie as in to recline on a sofa or a bed, what would the forms be for that? What would the, what would the three verb forms be for that? No, no, to lie. That's that's the that's the that's the verb. Not to lay. To lie. Yeah, there you go. Lie, lay, lane. Yes, lane is actually the third form that almost no one uses. <laughs> no joke. Almost nobody uses that form. They would just say to, they would just say laid instead. But it's it's lane. I've lain on the bed. I've lain down. It's not. It's not really archaic. Just, it's just something that's that's falling out of usage. Sorry. Well, I mean, I guess that's kind of the same thing. But look, I wouldn't say lame is archaic. Just something that you're not likely to hear nowadays. It's lame. <laughs> like maybe a little bit old-fashioned. I don't know. But it the correct form is lame. I've lain down. I've lain on the bed. The people would just say, I've laid on the bed. What have you laid though? Because laid is, la like laid in that case is transitive. It, it needs a direct object. So yeah, it's lain. It, yeah, it kind of does sound old. I've lain on the bed. But anyway, I lay on the bed last night. So I, lay, I lie on the bed now. I lay on the bed last night. I've lain on the bed for, I've been lying on the bed really for the last few hours. No, lie and lay are not the same. So you'll see in a moment. So what about to lie as in to, as in to not tell the truth? What would the forms be for that? So there are three forms. Yeah, exactly. Lie, lie, the lied. Exactly. Like, it's like, I lied to my parents a lot. You are clearly not a good child. Or, I lied to her last night because I just couldn't tell her the truth. Or, I've lied so many times in my life. I need to stop. So... So depending on the def the definition of the word, lie can be can have this form can have uh, can have can be like lie lay lay laid lane sorry lane or let me, let me type this out lie lay lay uh, no lie lied lied sorry I'm I'm being stupid today I need sleep I did not get a lot of sleep last night. Anyway, um, to lie as in, yeah, so to lie as in to rest on a bed or sofa, and to lie as in to tell a falsehood. So, d depending on the definition of the verb to lie, Uh, to depend on the definition, you can have two different uh, conjugations. And it's confusing, I know, but don't worry. Goodbye, juggernauts. Okay, so what about to lay? To lay. What about that one? Well, what's that one? To lay. Lay, laid, laid. Yeah, exactly. Lay, laid, laid. So. Yeah, so to lay as in to put or set down. To put or set down. It would be lay and then laid and then laid. Yes, exactly.
to put our set something down. Lay, laid, and laid. So I lay my books on on my desk after school every day. Or I or I laid my drink, my, my glass of water on on my nightstand last night. Or I have just laid all of the documents on the table. So okay, so hopefully that helps. Hopefully that clears things up because lay and lie are confusing verbs. Very confusing verbs. Even natives mess them up. It's like, I've laid on the bed. No, you've lain on the bed. You have lain on the bed. Oh, so Titania, like, both of those are correct. It depends because the second one would technically be the past tense of the first one. I lie down, I lay down. So present and past in that case. He laid him to rest. He slayed him to rest. But yeah, laid him to rest. Yeah, that's a that's a common idiom. Or you could put someone to rest as well. Yeah, the, yeah. It, when lay is the verb in question, it's, it has a difference of conjugations. Lay, laid, laid. Whereas lie has its own set, and depending on the definition, you can have two different sets. So lie, lay, lane, or lie, lied, lied. Slay, slew, slain. Yep. Oh, what about this one? Can you guys do this one? To fly. Fly, flew, flown. Yes. Ooh, what about this one? To throw. Throw through throne. Yeah, see? Ooh, what about this one? To show. That one's a tricky one. Yeah, there you go. Show, showed, shown. Now this one's weird because showed, it has a regular ED ending for verb two. But for verb three, it has an irregular form. Yeah, this is one of those special verbs that has that has both forms for whatever reason. But yeah, it's show, showed, and then shown. Because English, yeah, English is stupid. It's not consistent. <laughs> I, I, I wonder if there are other verbs that work like this. I'm trying to remember. I feel like there's one other verb that works like this, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, well. Oh, well, if you can do lay, what about relay? What's that one? And let me check the dic dictionary just to make sure. Okay, so this one's confusing because apparently because apparently relay can have two different uh, verb three forms, verb two and verb three forms, depending on the definition. So like for the first one, as in to, so yeah, it is relay, relayed and relayed, but it can also be, so depending on the definition, you can have relayed or relayed. So you have two forms from two different 
definitions. So relayed and relayed. So, so um, for the first one, relayed, like with the Y, the letter Y, so that one means, um, so a relay, for a, so a relay, how it works is that it's like, it's like, um, it's a system where, um, like, you know, like a race where each team, and it's not just with races, but with the race, it's like, uh, like when you have a relay race, uh, you, you're, you're, you know, you, you don't race the whole thing. You pat, you go, you, you, you travel a certain portion of the race and then you give a baton or whatever to someone else so that they could cover their portion and then they give that to someone else and it keeps going and going. So it's like, basically you're just passing something along. It's a system in which you're just passing something along to other people or other components or whatever. That's what a relay is. And in that case, yeah, like forwarding something basically. It's like you're just you just keep passing something along. So in that case, the correct forms would be relay, relayed, and relayed. That's how you would do it. But yeah, I just said the answer. Well, sort of, because again, there's a second form. So if you mean to lay again, as in like you lay you laid something down and you want to lay something down again. In that case, it would be relay, relayed, and then relayed. So, it depends on the definition. You can have those two forms. So, if you mean like, so if you're referring to a relay system, go with the first set here. But um, if you just mean if you mean relay as in to uh, lay something down again or whatever, then you would go with this one. So it depends. I know, it's stupid. English is stupid. It's, it's stupid, but that's just how it works, unfortunately. And you can even have both verbs in the same sentence, of course. <laughs> I relayed the news to the captain and relayed all of his documents on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I relayed the news to the captain and relayed all of his documents on the table. <laughs> I relayed the message to Joe. Giggity giggity goo! You would just say, I have a question. This is so dumb. Yeah, I agree. It is dumb. What is your question? Tell me what your question is. Exactly. I relayed the news to the captain and relayed all these documents on the table. Duh. <laughs> this is so dumb. Exactly. It is dumb. Then the captain laid me down. <laughs> How do you pronounce China? China. 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 Ch ch China. Chai and then na. China. Trying to go to China. I'm trying to go to China. <laughs> okay. Okay, are there any other verbs I can cover? Hmm. There are plenty, but I don't want to like cover every single one here because we'd be here forever if I did that. But I will link the lists I'm, I, I borrowed. So. Although, one of these lists is just not very good. I might just have to scratch that one off because it's kind of crap. Oh, did I, I think, did we cover this? I think it was someone mentioned it, but I don't think I covered it myself. To ride.
ride road ridden. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, there you go. Oh yeah, let me share the docu let me share the um the list of irregular verbs in English. Okay, let me just let me just share those. So list so here's list one. It has a few mistakes though. Um and there's list two. I'm not sure if list two I didn't I don't think list two has any mistakes. Although I didn't take a great I didn't take a a good look at it. I just looked over it. I don't think it has any though. But I don't know, I just, I, I didn't have the time to go and check every single one of these. I just covered the ones that I knew were correct. But anyway, just look at that. So yeah, plenty of verbs here, plenty. Thank you, Sensei. You are welcome. It's like, Sensei, arigatou gozaimasu. Of course, it's, it's no worries. Saving, <laughs> saving it never to see it again. <laughs> Story of my life. Saving the link to never see it again. <laughs> Thank you, Sensei. You're welcome. That'll be $15, by the way. No, but anyway. Oh, by the way, this is random, but... So, if you guys got the joke, it's a stupid joke, but if you guys got the joke, if you guys get the joke, then I'll be happy. Here's a dumb grammar joke. To set the mood, it is imperative that the subjunctive accompany the indicative. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I had to say that. <laughs> Get it? Because, like, they're all... Like, if you, for those of you who don't know, though, the imperative, subjunctive, and indicative, they're all moods in English. They're, they're grammatical moods. They're grammatical moods. And remember, mood is a concept in grammar that expresses how a speaker feels about... Um, about uh, a situation. You guys don't get it? Ah, damn. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Here's one that you might understand, though. The present, past, and future walk into a bar. It was tense. Get it? <laughs> I know you're cringing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Get it? Because the present, past, and future, they're all tenses. But the, the word tense here has a double meaning. <laughs> because it, it to, tense means serious in certain circumstances. But in this case, tense also refers to 
the grammatical concept. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, you have to go? Okay, bye. Bye. I will miss you. Okay, um, hang on. Let's see, hold up. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Okay, <laughs> I found a good one here. <laughs> No, no, next year. No swearing. That's my job. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to... Don't worry. My boy Shrifty will, will, will take these guys out. Hang on. Oops, crap. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, so going back to this. Here's another joke. And this is the last one I'll share. Okay, so here's another joke. A verb walks into a bar, sees a beautiful noun, and suggests they conjugate. The noun declines. Get it? Took me a few seconds. <laughs> yeah, actually, let me. Maybe he might be busy. Let me call someone else here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, you can't hear me? Oh no, can you hear me? Oh, okay, good, good. Oh shit. Oh my bad. Never mind. <laughs> okay, cool. Sorry. I I literally I just saw like it was like right just before I typed that message. 
Okay, um, let's see. Okay, so, oh, thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, mods. You're the best. You're the best. Okay. Oh. Okay, so. Let's see. <laughs> okay. So, let me do a few more and then we'll stop. No, I already did that one. I'm sorry. There was one more I wanted to do. Dang. A few more. What else? Mmm, dang. Oh, I can't forget this. To have. To have. Can you do that one? Where are the three verb forms? Yeah, exactly. Have, had, had. Have, had, had. Okay. Now what about to do? What about to do? Do, did, done. Yes, exactly. Do, did, done. Some people will say uh, did instead of done, though. I have no joke. I've heard people say things like, I have did that already. And I'm like... Just stop. Just stop. Please. I have did that already. Oh my god, it hurts my ears. <laughs> oh yeah, or some people even say I done it already. Although, to be fair, that one's more, I think that one's more dialectal than anything, but just, if anything, but it's just like, whatever. I'm so done with this already, right? I'm so did with this already. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I'm so did with this. I'm so did. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. <laughs> I've had enough of this, right? <laughs> uh oh, let's do hide. To hide. To hide. To hide. I have done did that there thing already. <laughs> Hide, hid, hidden. Yes. Mm, let's see, what else? What else? What else? Ooh, let's do to fall. Yeah, they are fast. They're fast typers. To fall. To fall. Yeah, I can't really DM you right now. I'm in the middle of having a class. I can check my DMs on my phone, though, and not, like, f mess up the recording. But Oh, does this include with... No, I'm talking about the base form of the verb. I should probably point out that for the first form, you have to use the base form. So the, the form that's used in an infinitive, you know, to walk, to eat, to run, just use though You have to use that base form. Eat, walk, run for the first form. So we would just say do, did, and done, not does, did, and done. And Shifty's like, dude, dude, you are pushing it. Don't, don't test him. Don't test him, or, or her. I, I, I think I don't. I don't want to assume your gender. I think you're male, but I, I don't want to assume. But. Dude, don't don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't test don't test Shrifty. Don't test that person. He's dead with you. <laughs> He's dead with you. Okay, let me see. Are there any others I can Oh yeah, let's do to lose. To lose. To lose. I'm bored. And banned, apparently. Oof. Muted, actually, not banned, sorry. Lose, lost, and lost. Yes. I've lost and I've found. 
something. Ooh, let's do to sing. To sing. Sing sang song. Sing sang song. Sing song sang no sing sang song. I could turn that into a song. Sing sang song this song. Samsung. <laughs> it's like Sam sing, Sam sang, Sam sung. <laughs> she sang a song. She sang a song to the unsung heroes. <laughs> I'll sing this song. Samsung advertisement, right? So what about to spring? If you can do sing, you can do spring. Is sprout even an actual word? I'm not even sure. But yeah, we'd go with spring, spring, and sprung. Spring, spring, sprung. Spring, spring, sprung. Spring, 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 spring sprung. Nope, apparently sprout is not a form. Okay, just making sure. To spring, as in to jump, either literally or figuratively. Like you can spring up from your bed, spring from your bed, I mean. Like you can jump out of bed, or you can jump into action, you can spring into action. Blink, right? And it could refer to, if, if, if you, like a spring can also be, the word spring can also be a noun. You know, like that, that coiled thing that you find in mattresses and, and machines and whatever. Yeah, to spring basically means to bounce. Yeah, a spring coil. Okay. Are there, let me, are there any other ones I can cover? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, if you can do, did I already do go? I don't think I did go. Did I do go? To go. To go. Can you do to go? Yeah, go went gone. Go went gone. But, and yeah, people do say went instead of gone sometimes. I haven't went to the store yet. <sighs> you haven't gone to the store yet. You haven't gone to the store yet. Stop assaulting people with your horrid grammar. Please, stop. Or like how some people say, she hasn't, she hasn't came back yet. No, she hasn't come back yet. But anyway, uh, let's see what else. Oh, win. Yeah, let's do win. Someone mentioned win. What's win? Oh, crap. Win. Win one one. Win one one. Yes. Not one as in the number one. No. That's a that's a same spelling, different word. But win one one. I won because I'm number one. <laughs> okay, so let's do this last one. To draw. To draw. Yeah, draw, drew, drawn. <clears throat> draw, drew, drown? What? What is this drown you speak of? I mean, if you can do that one, then certainly you can do this one, too. Drown because you can't draw. Oof. Big oof. So if you can do draw, you can do withdraw, right? The difference between has and have, they're both present, they're both the present tense, but you know, like, 
there's just different conjugations for person. So you can say, so you would say, I have, you have, he has, she has, it has, we have, you have, and they have. So that's the difference. Has is just used for he, she, and it. But anyway, yeah, it's, the correct forms would be withdraw, withdrew, and withdrawn. Withdraw, withdrew, withdrawn. To tell. What's to tell? To tell. To tell. Eh, no, taught, not really. Yeah, tell, told, told. Tell, told, told. Okay, so you can do that one. Certainly you can do this, too. To foretell, as in to predict. Can you do that one? You would say, I've been told that I'm not a smart guy. I've been told that I'm not a smart guy. But, but yeah, you, you, you seem to understand it. Or you could say, I've told people that I'm not a smart guy. That works too. But anyway. Yeah, foretell, foretold, foretold. Oh, you're welcome, Barty. Permission to sleep. It's really late here. Permission granted. Shoots you. Anyway. Um, let's see. No, I'm kidding. I would never shoot you. Thanks. <laughs> it's like, thanks. Oh, you're welcome, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I'll do this last one. Oh, two more, actually. Okay, so let's do to wear, to wear, to wear, to wear. Wear, war, worn. Wear, war, worn. Wear, war, worn. Yes, yes, you guys got it. Okay, what about to swear? To swear. To swear. To swear. If you can do swear, you can. If you can do wear, you can do swear. Swear, swore, sworn. Yes. Why do they type so fast? Because they're badasses. My 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 students are badasses. Swear, swore, sworn. Yes. Wear, worn, worn. Swear, swore, sworn. Wear, wore, worn. Swear, swore, sworn. Okay. Let's see. Now one more. Uh, what was I going to cover? Uh, oh, right. So if you can do bind, and certainly you can do wind. What's to wind? What are those forms? 20 words per minute here. <laughs> right? I don't think you're, I don't think you're as bad as people who just peck the keyboard. And I'm just like, learn to type. Please, you are taking too long. It's like, okay, let me see. There's an E. There's a... A, R, uh, T, A, oh crap, I put J instead of H. Let me find the backspace key. Where's the backspace key? Uh, oh my god, you're taking too long. Move, let me do it. <laughs> yeah, wind, wound, wound. Yeah, those are the forms. Good at texting random, random girls. I am a girl. Can conform. Can confirm. Sorry. <laughs> wow. But yeah, wind, wound, wound. Bind, bound, bound. Wind, wound, wound. Except that wound can't be a verb by itself. But bound can be a verb by itself. Because because remember for bound the forms would be bound bounded bounded. I'm bounding up and down. Let me let me bounce all up in this place. Wound. So yeah, be careful. Wound. That's a scar. Um, yeah, that a wound is like an injury that you get. Like like it's just a type of it's just a type of injury that you can get. Like you could get a a puncture wound or a cut or whatever but it's a, it has it has a different pronunciation from the verb uh the verb form wound it's like i wound up my arm too much and i got a wound um how <laughs> it's like i don't know i just did 
You're healing my wounds. Yay. I've got you wound, wrapped up around my little finger. I'm winding you up. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, um, let's see. Now I type with two fingers. Yay! Imagine typing with one. No, don't do it, please. <sighs> but I think that's all the ones I wanted to cover. All the because there are more, but I'm not gonna bother trying to. Oh, right. I saw another one that would be good. If you can do sing, and if you can do spring, then certainly you can do sting. I'm sounding like Dr. Seuss now. I don't like it. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Sting sting would be different from sing and, and spring. Sorry. Yeah, it would be stung, not stang. Sting, stung, stung. See, that one was a tricky one. Sting, stung, stung. Not stang. Sting's not the correct form. Sting, stung, stung. Oh, wait, you're not a girl? This must have stung, right? Sting, stung, stung. Must have stung. It's like, oh, you're not a girl. Crap. Um, this is awkward. Not for me. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I think that's... Yeah. That's it. Really, all they just did was cover random irregular verbs. Our teacher is teaching us English in a funny way. I try. I try. I am trying. <laughs> oh, what the hell? That's weird. Oh well, whatever. I'm trying. <laughs> I always enjoy your classes. I appreciate that. I am very appreciative of this compliment of yours. But yeah, I think I'll just stop here. But yeah, uh, basically, so, English has a lot of irregular verbs. A crap ton. So, honestly, don't even bother trying to memorize. Like, I know I said you had to memorize these earlier, but I don't mean, like, try to study them. I just mean, like, just expose yourself to them over and over again, and eventually they will just come naturally to you. Like, bec like for example, you guys pretty much got every single one of these right. Like, you, you, you typed up the answers very quickly, so clearly you've already had plenty of experience with them. So they're not impossible to learn. I know, where's Magical? I want him to be here. I want Magical to be here. Que lo que esté aquí. I want him to be here. But, oh well. Ich will, dass er, ist, it, dass er hier ist. I want him to be here. I can't German, I'm sorry. Anyway. <sighs> How fast do I type? That's a good question. I can do 93 minus 90 per minute. Beat that. No, I'm kidding. No, I don't type three words per minute. I type, I think, minus 70. It depends. Like, like it's consistently it's 70, 75, something like that. But at my high, my, like, if I go really fast, it could be, like, up to 90. But, like, but my lows would probably be, like, 60. So it's a range of 60 to 90, but consistently I'm, like, 75. Words per hour. <laughs> Words per hour. 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, but I guess that's... Oh, one more thing. Because money is great to pay. What's to pay? You all are the best. Pay, paid, paid. Pay, paid, paid. <laughs> Companies pay their employees. I was paid last night. My girlfriend has just gotten paid. Has just... Uh, no, sorry, that's not a good f example for the last form. The last one would be, I've paid my employees just now. <laughs> but anyway. Pain. Pain. It pains me to pay. What's the verb three form for hike? Hiked. Hike, hiked, hiked. Take a hike. Maybe later. My girlfriend just got paid. Is it wrong? No. But if it's wrong, I don't want to be right. No, but anyway. Um, okay. Oh, wait, wait. Now, I, I, I mean it this time. This is the last one. To freeze. To freeze. To freeze. What is that? Freeze, froze, frozen. Yes, freeze, froze, frozen. So many, so many NSFW thoughts. I know, right? People just have to let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist making a reference to that movie. <laughs> That's why I said, let's do this one. <laughs> You must let it go and show yourself. After all, love is an open door. Now go and enjoy the summer. No, I'm sorry. I, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice vocals. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, that'll be it for now. I don't want to make the class here too long, so that will be it for this class. Still waiting poggers. What? Poggers? Never gets old. It never gets old. One of my students even calls me Mr. Poggers. <laughs> Pogtastic! <laughs> but, yeah, I shall go ahead and stop the recording. Yeah, I'll stop the recording. <laughs>